You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sonia, and I'm a lifestyle blogger of LessHustleMoreCoffee.com. I'm married to this guy, George, who's a great cook and a great guitar player. We live in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and we have a cat named Little Bit, who's a little bit sweet and a little bit of a troublemaker. You never know what we're gonna get into, but you know what? Life is good, and it's all about what you make it. At the end of the day, it's all about finding a life you love to live. So let's go. Are you a sweet Bowie? Well, I think you are. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty sunset. Yes, it is. I'm so glad to be sharing it with you. Yeah. Hey, little bit. You want us to get a dog or two? Hmm? Yeah, how do you think about that? You want to get a dog? Will you, will you be okay if we get a couple of doggies? Yeah. Do you miss Macy and Roger? Hmm? I do. I do. It's been really difficult trying to adopt, which is what we really wanted to do. But we don't have a fence. We don't have a fenced-in yard. And we work full-time, and they just think we're awful. We're not home all the time, but you know, we got to earn a living. There's lots of people in the world that has dogs that don't have a fence that work. So not really familiar with that logic, but you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean that. <laughs> you know, I didn't mean that. It's all good. Oh, we'll get a dog soon. One day it'll happen. Somebody will let us have a dog. We really don't have to have anybody's permission to have a dog. You know that, don't you? Except yours. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Woo! Well, guess what? I kind of have a little something to tell you. <laughs> we got us a little doggy. <laughs> and his name is Dexter. And he's Beagle Mix and Golden Retriever. So he's probably going to get a little bigger than what he is right now. And that's okay. It's been tough trying to find a doggy. It's been a difficult time. Uh, trying to adopt. We always want to try to rescue babies that need rescuing before going out and, and buying them. At least that was our intention and that's what we did. We did our adoption through PetSmart through True Rescue. Um, I will say that it was much easier doing the adoption in person. Um, we did not have any problem. Uh, matter of fact, they told me that day that we would be able to take him home that day. So there was not a home visit. We weren't told no because of the fact that we work full time. We weren't told no because we didn't have a fenced in yard. So it's just my opinion that just because you work full time doesn't mean that you can't have a pet. And, um, you know, we were being told no a lot. <laughs> and while there are amazing adoption agencies out there, and I do think they do good work, you probably have to pick a agency that works for you. Our game plan going into our dog search was we'll 
play various games for a while. And if we don't like the games that they're playing, then we'll play our own game. And that's what we did. We stepped it up to the next level to go actually visit in person the different places. And it's my personal experience that it comes through a little better for you. Um, and I get what they're trying to do. I know they're trying to find the perfect match. We were just never going to be perfect enough. Never going to be perfect enough, it seemed. Finally, when we went to PetSmart, I thanked the lady for working with us. I said, you know, we work full time. We still want to have a baby. And our plan is to get two. And then they won't be so lonely during the day. It's going to be a little rough for this guy. Uh, and maybe some of our furniture and door facings, whatever he scratches up. But, you know, we're willing to do that until we can get him acclimated. And we'll just have to fix what he messes up. And we are, I'm going to have to let him down. You're sweet. <laughs> You're sweet. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. So, we just dove right in. And it took about three weeks once we got serious to find our our pet. So we did have a couple of dogs that we were set to go pick up um, through one agency and I won't say who they were, but um, we were then emailed and said, oh, by the way, I'm sorry, we can't let you have them because you don't have a fence. <laughs> <sighs> we're not going to have a fence. We have a huge yard and we're not going to go and buy a fence for it. We've had dogs for 20 years without a fence. We take precautions to make sure that they're secured. The little guy is, is doing pretty good. He is two days in. He's got a little bit of an intestinal situation that we're having to work with the vet on right now. Dogs always get sick on holiday weekends, right? It's Memorial Day. And so uh, we're going to take him to the vet tomorrow and get his treatment plan started, see when we need to get him neutered and um, get all his shots and, and all of that. So we're having to keep him away from other dogs right now and we've got to get this intestinal situation taken care of. And I'm really, really nervous to see what happens with um, his first day with us working full time. And I hate it. I know we have to get through this period of time, have to get him acclimated. Once he has all his shots, we're considering doggy daycare um, because he's part beagle and beagles really don't need to be left alone for very long periods of time or they'll get some kind of neurosis. That's what I was reading and we don't want that. Hmm. Maybe I ought to teach him how to blog or vlog. Helps. <laughs> anyway. I will be videoing uh, lots of fun with this little fur baby. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to make the videos a lot more interesting uh, having an extra fur baby around. So I know you all enjoyed the fur babies in the past and we're just overjoyed to have this little one in, in our midst, even though he's going to be a lot bigger than what we wanted, a lot bigger. He's scratching on the door right now. He's a lot bigger than what we had intended. You are going to be an internet star. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be an internet star. See, Dexter? Yes. Yes. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. We love him already. We love him already. And, um... Didn't get any sleep last night, so it's kind of like being um, a new mommy all over again. Not quite, not exactly. <laughs> it's much harder being a real mommy, but um, for a baby mommy, he, with his little intestinal situation, um, he got sick on the bed, and while I was cleaning that up, kind of messed the carpet up a couple of times till I could get him in the hallway. <laughs> Where there's no carpet. Most of the house has no carpet. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. It's okay. I know you didn't feel good. I know you didn't feel good. <laughs> Are you ready to get down? Are you ready to get down, Dexter? He ready to get down. Love you. I love you. I'll put you down. You want to get on your bed? <laughs> 
I was up most of the night. I ordered some sheet protectors on Amazon so that if it happens again, I can just swap, you know, swap everything out. But um, it's just part of it. The night before last, we slept great all night. Matter of fact, he slept longer than I did. Um, somebody said, oh, you better not let him sleep in your bed because he's going to be too big. Um, it's probably going to be okay. We'll make those decisions. Anyway, over and out. Got things to do now. Okay, it's getting too expensive to work. Can't do that every week. out. I think we have finally tired him out. <laughs> Come on. Let's go out and beat. <laughs> Dexter, are you going to be able to sleep tonight? You slept really good last night. You want me to go get you a bone? Are you going to be able to sleep? Hmm? You got a flea? Have you got a flea? Hey, buddy. You're on video. That's not nice. That's not nice. Here we go. Are you sorry? <laughs> okay. I'll go get a bone so you'll have something to chew on. You slept so much today that you're probably going to be active tonight. Are you going to be able to sleep? I'll get your little antler that we bought you at the store. You ready for lights out? Okay. You remind me so much of Roger. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't know who Roger is. But you do remind me of him. Night night. Tell the world, night night. So I got my antler. It's big and hard and can't break it. Good. I'm still a sleepy Bowie. You slept all night. You like your tummy rubs. What's your tummy rub? When you wake up, we'll go outside and we'll go eat. I'll let you sleep a little bit longer. You're like a teenager on a Saturday morning. Are you wanting your toy? Are you wanting your toy? <laughs> Daddy's got it. 
Daddy's got it, but you're awfully cute. You're awfully cute. Oh, I know what you want. You want the fuzzy thing on the microphone. Oh, how funny. You can't have it. You cannot have it. Look, Daddy has your toy. <laughs> you like it? You like it? It's supposed to squeak, but I couldn't get it to squeak. Well, I'm so glad you like it. After we kill it, it'll be yeah. squeak. Yeah, I like a new toy every now and then. It's squeak. I'm so glad you like it. Can I make a Whoa! Whoa. Say, I'm taking Say, it. Say, Daddy, I'm taking it. You cannot have my toy. Oh, Daddy got something, too. Reese cups. All right. Oh, I believe those are Nana's. <laughs> Not if she don't see I won't tell you that I have some, too. Just it did. was... It was a good haul. Yes, it was. It was a nice little day. All right. Over and out, y'all. Go find the dog. Watch him play with his toy. Good morning. Well, I thought I would hop on and do a car chronicle. You know, we adopted the little guy. brought him home. He had a little bit of an intestinal issue, which was being taken care of he was already being treated As a matter of fact the treatment was working we took him to the vet um, for his first visit so that we could get all of his shots scheduled and on that last schedule for his shots we will determine the date for his neutering um, we're just kind of keeping him um, close to home right now not able to really socialize with other um, animals. We do have an outside cat and we're really having to watch and make sure that they don't um, get together in any way. He is an amazing puppy and you all are going to enjoy seeing footage of him. He is a puppy but you know what? He's doing extremely well for a puppy. He's really good at going and retrieving the tennis ball and bringing it back. He was only 10 weeks old when we got him. Um, he was 11 pounds, by the way, when we got him. He's 15 seven days later, so we're in for a big dog. He is doing great. He is potty trained. He has consistently used the paper and gone outside. He's learning to sit. We are currently working on stay. Woo! Make that red light. It's getting hot in here. I'm gonna have to turn the AC on, uh, but it makes a noise for the video, so I'm trying to to not use it. Let's see if I can get myself some air that way. It's still gonna be a little loud. Ooh, that feels good, actually. I mean, if you can imagine, imagine a dog almost to the point of, of doing zoomies in your bed. And he play bites and it hurts. That's probably the worst part at this point is just making that transition from playtime to bedtime. Those are just my thoughts and I'm gonna let you all go because I have rambled on too much and it's time for my prayer time.